Hey folks, welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse, and today we are looking at Wits and Wagers. It's Vegas, baby. This is for five or more players. This was a pickup from Target. And this takes Wits and Wagers, adds new questions, and also adds a new betting system. So let's take a look at what's in this box. I got this um, on sale at Target. Right now, the Black Friday sales are going on to let you know when this is. And yeah, this is a game that we've been playing at twitch.tv slash hardboard games. We've been playing this online version of it. And I like to get physical versions of games we enjoy playing online. So that's why I bought uh, Wavelength. I bought this. I bought um, The Crew. Many games that deserve a purchase. So, fun thing is that we've had Wits and Wagers before and we called it from the collection. But, for some reason this version is just a little better than the other one. So let's take a look at what's here. Here's the rules, we'll take a look at that in a second. These are probably available online by the way. Northstargames.com I'm sure has something. Um, actually, I know the uh, Board Game Geek site has it. So check this out. Are these clay? They are not. They, they're cardboard, but still not bad. It's nice that it's all popped out for you already. They don't put that work on you. Let's take a look in the uh, close-up. Not bad. Easily replaceable, though, if you have the clay pieces. See some green ones in here. 25s. What's in wager? $25. This one picture went away. There's been some, it's been a long time since I've been here doing this. So certain cameras will disappear, like that one. I can see it's messed up. <laughs> But I'm going to leave it. That's fine. You can see, like, there's a missing whatever. Who cares? We're just doing an unboxing here, folks. You want to see what's in the box, not my picture. Here is cards. We're going to look at those in a second. These are... Do not use this space. Oh, right. Oh, let's look at the mat. Because I noticed it's up here. It's a felt mat. Uh, these are ID chips. Each player is going to get two of those. We have lots of pins. Here's the board. Here's the rest of the box. I don't think there's anything else in there. We always check under the box so you don't have to. And there's nothing in there. So. You can see all some other games we got to undo. Okay, so I see. So this is the felt board. I don't know how I feel about a felt board. It feels like a poker table. I'll give it that. I don't know. It's okay. I think I would have preferred playmat, maybe. So then we have these. Like if you were playing with an um, odd number of players, you would put this here. Because you're not going to use that center aisle. I give you two. For some reason. Here's dry erase board so people can write what they say and then you can put them in the appropriate order. Something like that. When people bet, they'll bet with these chips. You're only going to have two of them, your color. And you say, I'll bet here, bet here. So the red one, one, one to one says, I'm betting on all three, but I only get one out of one to my bet. And then, this is not in the game that we play online. I'm not sure what that is. Let's look at these cards to give you an idea of what kind of things you'll be writing on the dry erase board. Here are close-ups. So, I guess this is the answer. <laughs> 
It was published in Joseph Pulitzer's New York World and featured 30, 34 clues. I don't know what the number means, actually. Oh, that must be the answer to the other side. That's what it is. Okay. So, oh, I see. I'm, I'm dumb. It says Q&A right there. But my thumb was in the way. Yeah, okay, so this is so, I was wondering, because I was like, how can you play along if you see the answers? Okay, let's go to the cues. <laughs> to begin playing, move this card to the back of the deck. Play all your games using the top questions once you've played enough. Go through all the top questions, this card will be at the front, then use the bottom ones. You won't repeat a question until you've gone through all 214. What percent of American adults make their own bed every day? So for this, you would write a percentage, of course, zero through 100, and everyone will show them at the same time, and you'll put them in the proper order, make your bets, and eventually that'll get flipped. I'm not gonna say this because I don't want you to have an advantage on your first play. I'll look at it out of my own curiosity. But I will say studies have shown a correlation between making the bed and overall happiness. So I'll put that in the back and go to the next one. Very simple game, nice party game. People can stand around, talk about this game while they play. This is a nice version of it. Right now at Target, it was $15. Um, normal price, 30 bucks, easily worth either of those prices. So, of course I forget something. We gotta look at the rules. Don't like reading rules? Go to northstargames.com slash wits and wagers Vegas for how to play video. I just want to show this book, large words, easy to read. You can see the sorting examples there on the left and the right, of course. But in poker chips, you've won. And there we go. You want more questions? Just email us more questions at northstar.com, northstargames.com. I'll send you four theme sets with 14 questions each. Hmm. Nice. Until next time, the box is closed.